Welcome to What the Flick, everybody. I'm Matt Atchity. This is Alonzo Duraldi. We're going to be talking about Wreck-It Ralph. Woo! Are we going to wreck it? I, yes, we can. We can. But, 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 we're we, but we're not going to, right. no. Uh, okay, so this is the latest from Disney Animation. It is set in the world of video games, and like Who Framed Roger Rabbit, there's a lot of crossover between characters who you've never seen interact before. Uh, Wreck-It Ralph is the villain of a fictional game called Fix-It Feel It Jr. Fix-It Felix Jr., and he's... Uh, Tired of not getting any love or respect for the fact that he goes in and destroys everything every day. And uh, he attends support groups for villains where uh, the ghost from Pac-Man runs the thing. And eventually decides that uh, he wants to uh, find his inner hero. So he leaves the game and starts wandering into other games uh, trying to win medals and gain glory. And things get nutty. Take a look. Ralph, you are a bad guy, but this does not mean you're a bad guy. I don't want to be the bad guy anymore. Everything changes now. Ralph's gone to hero's duty? You game jumped? I like this movie. I, I liked it a lot. Um, I, you know, I, I think what I kind of like about it is how, at first I was starting to think, all right, I get this movie's gimmick and it's just going to keep going, but they keep complicating the stakes and upping the ante and like changing the goal of post basically and so they it kind of keeps you guessing it keeps you sort of following this ever changing path that these people are all going through I, I thought this movie was a lot of fun it, it like you said it the story is not as simple as it sets out right to tell it does go in some interesting directions and it's got a lot of heart you know it does it, it really does and I you actually that, care about these video game characters yeah, and, you, you know. really do and you know when one of the characters seems to be letting another one down like you really feel like you really feel bad for it yeah there's you know and, and like one of the things that has bugged me about some of the Pixar movies I think specifically uh, up and ratatouille is in the writing, I always feel like the third act depends upon two characters having an argument for no reason so that they can split up and then have to come back together at the end. In this movie, when Ralph and the uh, uh, Vanellope character, hosted, voiced by Sarah Silverman, have a rift and separate, there's a reason for it and there are things at stake and then it makes it means that much more when they do finally get their stuff together at the end. You know, So on a writing writing-wise, I think this movie... Uh, is a lot sharper and smarter than you might think just by its very sort of, you know, easily describable gimmick. And I'm not a video game guy. Like, I was always terrible at them. My characters died really quickly. It seemed like a waste of quarters. I did not play a lot of video games. Shut so, the fuck up, noob. I know, I know. I'm a, I, you know, I just, my eye-hand coordination is for shit. So I did not know, I'm sure there's a million inside jokes in this movie that went completely Which, over know, my head. out of the way relatively quickly. And I still like, had you, fun. You get your cameos from other games, uh -huh. like... Street Fighter and Sonic the Hedgehog and Mario Brothers. You get those out of the way Q-Bert. relatively early. Cubert <laughs> shows up, um, somewhat recurring, which was kind of fun. Yeah, that was sweet. Um, you get these fun bits, and then it doesn't keep hammering those points. Right, like that's not right. the only like, joke it's like got once to you offer. You get those jokes. Okay, now let's move on to the movie. Yeah, and let's keep going. And it was great, and kind of the way it sets up this culture of being video game characters was really interesting. I kind of want to revisit this world again. Uh, yeah, I would hope they do. And 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 I did. I do know enough about video games to sort of get the the visual jokes as far as like the way the supporting right. characters right. in Fix It Felix just, move. Right. You know, because that's an old eight bit game, and so the characters jump around, even though. We're seeing them in nice new CGI. Right, they still twitch right. about like that. Whereas in the newer games that he jumps into, like you know, a Heroes Duty, which is the right. first-person shooter game, is very you know high-tech motion capture kind of stuff. And so that that's a that's a, a fun thing. And and uh, you know they really sort of play around with the parameters of each of the different game worlds. Right. You know, when he goes into uh, Sugar Rush, which is the right. sort of Candyland race right. game. Which is like a Mario Kart type game, but it's done with like, yeah. like the Japanese style cheating. Yeah, right? very anime Cupcake, in the... Strawberry shortcake. Exactly, yeah, but they and they like anime strawberry shortcake. Though. Right, and they really they and 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 at first, like I thought they were, it was just kind of shameless product placement for certain you know candies and cookies, but then they actually come up with funny stuff to do with right. that and and plot stuff even. So uh, yeah, this movie just continually surprised me, which was great, and it was much more than I expected it was going to be. A uh, really good voice cast, John C. Riley really gives that character some heft. Sarah Silverman is funny. Jack, uh, Jack Brayer and Jane Lynch. Um, Alan Tudyk. Alan Tudyk totally channeling Edwin. Um, yeah, it's a you know I was here's one thing that surprised me because it's a Disney property. No mention of Tron. 
That's somewhat not, e not even of the game, which I thought they might have, you know, thrown yeah, in a little something. But um, I think that there's a lot to like here. If you are a gamer, you're going to get a lot of the references and, and the idea of that they successfully work in mini games within larger games, which mm -hmm. happens all the time. If you're not a gamer, you're going to enjoy this. You don't have to I be, yeah. The kids are going to like this. I think adults are going to like this, too. I think yeah. that it's, it's a fun film. I think it's something, you know, there's something for everybody here to kind of be cliched. And most of the critics are liking it, too. It's in the, it's right now at 90%. Nice. Animator. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I think that, that, you know, Pixar gets all the glory, but uh, I think Disney Animation has been doing some really interesting stuff in the last 10, 15 years when you look at movies like Lilo and Stitch. I'm a big fan of Meet the Robinsons, which didn't really do much, but I think it's well, amazing. Bolt was a great movie. You know, Bolt was really yeah, fun. you know, and so I think this one, they really kind of have their act together, and uh, it, it's, it, you know, it could have just been this gimmicky thing, and they 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 wrote through that and made it a lot more, and so it's it it's you get the the easy gags, but you get the tough stuff too. All right, so, so ultimately score. I give it an eight. I give it an eight, so that makes the average eight point. Um, it's five thing and the carry eight. with the eight. Yes, so eight. so yeah, uh, we like it. Check it out.